in lab 6 we are going to work with swing controls and event listeners there are different controls which needs to use different listener interfaces to handle the events as in the form there are a couple of swing controls and there is a reset and a validate button which has a listener associated with it let us see what are the different controls that are used in the forms there are a couple of labels they are two text fields and a button is linked with the listener so when the button is clicked some action is performed and there is a text area let us quickly identify the swing controls the J label class is used to create the labels first name and the last name J button is used to create the reset button and the submit button the text area is used to display what the user has entered if the user has not entered in the fields then it is going to be empty the important thing in this lab is to understand the use of action listener when to use it and how to use it we usually we implement action listener to make our buttons listen to the actions and do some work when the button is pressed one important method that we have to remember in action listener is to override a method called as action perform method which takes a parameter of type action event these two things are very important when you want your form or your ui to interact with the user action we have to use a jframe to put all these controls in one place let us see how to link the action listener with the control in the button we have an action when it is pressed when it is pressed the action should be performed like evaluating or finding or checking something as you can see in the form here there are two forms the first form is empty and the second form has got some values when the user is entering some values in the text field and we click on the reset button it clears the screen similarly when the submit button is clicked the user the button checks the the logic binded with the button checks whether the user has entered some information in the text field yes if he has entered then it is displayed in the text area the important thing as uh, to remind in this uh, video in this lab is to understand the swing controls and the event listeners so let us do an activity let us find out the different swing controls and the event listeners associated with them to handle a particular event so take down this activity as in homework find out the different controls which needs which listeners to handle the event for example the button for example the j button uses action listener in this example now let us do this in the netbeans programmatically here i run the program if i enter some fields in the in the text field for example i entered alan and the second name as lee now when i click on the reset button the values are cleared off how these values are clear cleared off because there is a logic written and binded with this reset button and when is it involved when it is invoked by implementing the action listener method called as action perform so there is going to be a logic for this button and this button is linked with an action listener similarly when i write some value alan and the second name lee 
When I click on validate, you see there is a text area with a certain size and it displays the values what I have entered here in the first name and the last name with the well done message. When I click on recent message, it reset button, it clears off all the messages from the text field as well as from the text area. When I do not enter anything in these fields and when I try to validate, it gives me a message that insert a message saying that insert your first name and insert your last name. So this logic could be also used to validate the front end where, where there is a requirement of asking the user to fill some information and if he forgets so we can prompt the user to enter things. Usually this happens when we are trying to register for the emails or any other thing. So this could be a great example. This piece of code could be a great example to perform the front end validations. After looking at the code, after looking at the output, let us code the uh, program quickly. As you see, this is the code. Now I'm going to click on file, new project. I will just give a name to this project, say lab, lab 6. File, new project. I want to create a Java project. So I'm going to give a name as lab6 file new project Lab 6. 